to Jesus. Welcome back to class 8, lesson 12, part 2. The church is holy. As usual, let us begin the class with a short prayer. Let us all rise, join our hands and close our eyes. Lord Jesus, we thank you for bringing us together again in your name. We seek your help during this class. We seek your guidance. Holy Spirit, shower us with your blessings. Mother Mary, intercede for us to your Son, Jesus Christ. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. So, in part 1 of lesson 12, we learned that the church is holy and we all are called to holiness. So, it is God's will that His chosen people are holy because He Himself is holy and so He wants His people to be holy as well. We also saw what are the means to achieve holiness. Do you remember? We had discussed about two means of attaining holiness. First is sanctification through Jesus. So, we discussed how we achieve holiness by living a life as shown by Jesus Christ and also most importantly it is the sacrifice of Jesus Christ on the cross that makes us clean from our sins. The second means of attaining holiness or sanctification is the word of God. We saw that the word of God is like the fire, the fire which purifies the gold. The more the gold is melted in fire, the purer gold you will get. And so, the more you give importance to the word of God in your life, the more the holy you will be. Now, let us continue to the second part of this lesson and see what are the other means of achieving sanctification. So, the other mean of achieving sanctification is sanctification through the sacraments. Now, we have all studied extensively about the seven sacraments that we receive during our life administered by the Catholic Church. Can we just try to name the seven sacraments? Which are they? So, you have baptism, confirmation, confession, holy communion, holy matrimony, holy order and the seventh, the anointing of the sick. Now, as we reflect on these seven sacraments, one thing that we can notice is that these seven sacraments are administered to us by the church during the different stages of our life, is it not? So, we receive baptism when we are babies, maybe when we are 5 months, 6 months old, our parents, our godparents take us to the church and we are baptized in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit and we become the members of the church. And as we grow little more older, we receive the sacrament of confirmation, we are anointed by the Holy Spirit and then we become more strong 
more strengthened just like the apostles became more strong and confident on the day of pentecost when they received the holy spirit and then we have the sacrament of reconciliation confession that is where we confess our sins we seek repentance and we have conversions of our heart we say sorry for the mistakes that we have done for the sins that we have committed and our ever loving father lord jesus christ is always ready to forgive us and take us into his arms and then we have the most important sacrament the holy eucharist the holy communion i am sure we remember how we celebrated the day we received the holy communion we receive jesus into our lives as body and blood physically and spiritually and make it makes us holy so holy eucharist or holy communion is the most important sacrament that makes us holy in the lord and in the god and thereafter we have other sacraments as well holy matrimony holy order and the anointing of the sick so all these sacraments bring us closer to god and when we say it is bringing us closer to god it means that it makes us more holy is it not what can be closer to god something which is holy something which is unholy can never be close to god right because god is holy and so his people should also be holy and so let us remember that through sacraments we can attain sanctification and let us make it a practice that we often reconcile or confess our sins to a parish priest or any other priest and seek forgiveness for our sins and repent for our sins and receive holy communion every day in our life this will lead us to holiness and through holiness it will lead us to jesus christ our lord now the next means of sanctification is the sacramentals now what are the sacramentals so all of us might be having rosaries in our hands or we might be wearing them every time we have scapulars we have holy water in our homes we collect it during the easter and we may have candles and so many other blessed articles at home all these are called as sacramentals which draws us closer to god and helps us in our spiritual life all these sacramentals helps us to achieve holiness we have statues photos of jesus mother mary put up on the walls and during the house blessing the priest will come and bless these articles and it is our belief there's all these blessed articles leads us to holiness so sacramentals are also a means to holiness some of us may even get a pen blessed by a parish priest so it is our belief that if we get our pen blessed by a parish priest we can write our exams better so these are all sacraments we may request priests to put their hands on our heads and pray for us so all these kinds of sacramentals 
help us to move closer to Jesus by achieving holiness. The next means of sanctification is prayer, fasting and abstinence. So regular prayer, personal prayer to Lord Jesus Christ help us to achieve holiness. Prayer is nothing but talking to God, having a conversation with Him. It leads us to holiness. Fasting, so during Lent we fast, some of us fast on every first Fridays and so on. Fasting helps us to put down our worldly desires, to have control on our worldly desires so that we may move forward closer to Jesus Christ. Abstinence, we abstain ourselves from having non-vegetarian food during the Lent season or maybe during the 25 days before Christmas. We abstain ourselves from so many things and all these activities, prayer, fasting, abstinence leads us to holiness. And another important means of sanctification is our vocations. So what is our vocation? Now as kids, as children, our main vocation is that we are students, we are school going students, we are children of our parents, we are brothers and sisters of our siblings. So through our vocation as well we can achieve holiness. And how is that? Duties as a student, our duties as children of our parents and our duties to our siblings. So it is through these small, small things when we do it faithfully and with dedication and with divine life as instructed to us by Jesus, we achieve holiness. So let us conclude this lesson by revising what we have done today in the class. So from the beginning of lesson 12, we see that the church is holy and we all are called to holiness and the church is holy and at the same time it is in need of sanctification. And what are the means of sanctification? Sanctification through Jesus, sanctification through the word of God, sanctification through sacraments, sanctification through sacramentals, sanctification through prayer, fasting, abstinence and sanctification through our vocations. So let us all try to achieve sanctification or holiness through all these means in our life. Let us conclude this class with a small prayer. Let us all rise, join our hands and close our eyes. Lord Almighty Father, we give you thanks and we praise you. We glorify your name. Lord Jesus, we thank you for calling us into holiness. We seek your guidance in our lives so that we may achieve holiness. Holy Spirit, strengthen us in our lives, in our physical and spiritual lives. Help us to follow the path of holiness. Mother Mary, pray for us to your Son Jesus Christ. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Yeah.